this is an ultrasound study of a young male presenting with severe left colic, renal colic, lumbar region colic. What we see is that the upper pole, let's first explore the upper pole of the left kidney. Now this is the upper pole of the left kidney in which you can see that all the calluses are dilated. These are the dilated calluses. This is, these are the mid calluses. They are also dilated. And this is the parenchyma with uh, preserved parenchymal thickness as well as uh, preserved cortical medullary differentiation, differentiation in this region. Now this is the upper pole. So, now coming towards the Uttarbiyanaya, lower pole, you see that there is uh, a lot of uh, debris accumulated in the dilated lower pole calluses. This is the ecogenic area, is, are the cal uh, is the debris, maybe bleed or pus in the dilated lower pole calluses. These are the dilated lower pole calluses. And uh, afraid that the parenchymal thickness in this region is compromised. This is all, this area is in fact a dilated calyx with the debris within it. It's not a cyst. This is also a dilated calyx. And you see that the debris layered out with the posterior wall, uh, posterior region, with the muffled, uh, lost cortic. Um, uh, we have lost the uh, parenchyma. Parenchyma is not seen at the uh, upper pole and at the lower pole. This was the lower pole. Now let's go to the lower pole, and you will see the same condition is prevailing over there. However. The lower pole calluses, uh, parenchymal thickness, is preserved 13.7. Now, uh, the mid-region calluses show an uh, echogenicity uh, is normal and uh, measurement is normal. The cause of this all what we are seeing is a calculus, a large calculus, within the pelvic ureteric junction. This is the pelvis of the kidney, and uh, here this is the calyx. The calyx, my, uh, the stone measures 23.4 millimeter, and you can see that uh, there that we have seen in this kidney, and this is the left kidney. And this is the pelvic ureteric junction. The proximal ureter is dilated. And this is this linear bright structure giving posterior shadow is the calculus. <coughs> now the debris which is seen is uh, can be you know uh, either pus or uh, bleed and you can see that it's layered out throughout the calluses magnifying the view to show you uh, the layering of the debris within the posterior segment of the left kidney now these rounded globular ecogenic areas they communicate in each other, they are not isolated. So they had the, if they are isolated, then they will not communicate and we will consider that maybe this is a cyst. Now this is appearing as a cyst, whereas when I move the probe, it becomes, changes its shape and becomes balloon shape. Same is the case in this uh, middle dilated middle calluses with layer, layered out posterior wall ecogenic material. Now here it appears as a thick wall cyst, but when I change the probe position, uh, it also changes its position. 
it, it, it cuts off over here and then communicates with the other lower pole. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So the lower pole is uh, significantly dilated. And, uh, now this also, now this is also notices at the lower pole. This is in fact a dilated calyx, lower pole calyx, with, and with dependent region, significant amount of uh, medium strength echoes, either first or bleed. So all the calyces are dilated, and uh, this is the area of pathology. The area of pathology in here, this one. This is the calculus, and this is the proximal ureter. The proximal ureter measures 8.8 up to 7 is considered normal. So, uh, pelvic ureteric junction is dilated. Otherwise, no calculus is seen uh, in this uh, within the kidney except this one. You see, this is this is a pyramid. It should not be confused with the direct calyx. This is the pyramid. So the pyramids are quite prominent. So now, what is the status? Another Let's see that what is the status now for of the other kidney of this This is the gallbladder. Siddha is a little bit siddha. Oh, yes. This kidney is doing fine. This is the right kidney. Patient has kyphosis and this kidney is normal in size and by all parameters, no pathology seen in this kidney. You see the urinary bladder. See the urinary bladder is normal. We don't see any pathology relating to the urinary bladder. And the prostate is normal. This is the prostate. This is the prostate, uh, prostate urethra. This is the urinary bladder. These are the seminal varicose. And this is the left kidney. And the urethra is traceable only up to the level of obstruction from where onwards the gases intervene. So this is the case of the day.